Ireland had been racked in 1641 by a uh, another conflict which was related and came out of anxieties to do with what they saw was beginning to happen in England. Irish Catholics looking over into England saw that the British Parliament uh, or the Parliament of England had uh, become very, very anti-Catholic. And in order to have a sort of preemptive strike against this, uh, there was a, uh, a movement in Ulster, the northern province, where uh, Irish Catholics who'd been expropriated from their lands turned against the Protestant planters, demanded their lands back, demanded you know, possessions that the Protestants had, demanded that they put away any sign of their worship. And what resulted was a massacre. Now, the numbers involved in this massacre have long been a subject of uh, conflict. It seems most likely that the number involved, the numbers who died, uh, whether killed or whether dying from hypothermia or exposure, because many Protestants were pushed out of their um, pushed out of their holdings and, and sent naked into the countryside. Uh, we're talking about probably around four to seven thousand people died. Um, when news arrives in London and forever afterwards, um, this number has turned into two hundred thousand. The Irish have killed two hundred thousand. So there's a, a sort of a blood libel hanging over the Irish, and from the very beginning, in sixteen forty two beginning of the civil war, the parliamentarian side, in order to get a loan so that they can pay an army that will fight against the king, the parliamentarian side say that they will expropriate all Irish Catholics and give that land as collateral or have that land as collateral against a loan. So when ultimately the parliamentarian side win, and uh, that's clear by 1652, a decade later, it's a question of what will be done with the Irish land. And this is what was done with the Irish land, and the poem Exodus to Connacht and Deeper to Connacht is about the lived experience of people who undergo, uh, have to live with the consequences of the act uh, for the settlement of Ireland, which is passed in 1652, which states that basically if you're an Irish Catholic who fought against the parliament at any time before 1642, you should be killed. But if you fought against the, uh, the parliament after 1642, your lands were to be taken off you and you were to be compensated though were to be compensated by given a, being given a fraction of the acreage of your land in the province of Connacht. And here's we, here we have a map of uh, the, the plantation in question. Let's have a look at it in greater detail. Hope you can see this cursor here. Here's the province of Connacht, all of the province of Connacht and County Clare. Um, basically, if you were a Catholic landowner, you were to turn up and uh, before uh, that date in 1654, you were to move to Connacht. And Connacht was given over as sort of a containment area. It's not that the land of Connacht was the worst land in Ireland, actually. At the time, Ulster was the most impoverished province in Ireland. But uh, land in Connacht, uh, it was easier to police. On top of that, Cromwellian soldiers were given uh, land around the coastline so that no Irish Catholics could have a uh, could have access to the coast. Um, now, does this mean that all Irish Catholics move to Connacht in this period? That the rest of the country is totally left bare? No, it's Catholic landowners. If you happen to be a hero of wood and draw of water or labourer, a Catholic labour in the rest of the country, you likely stay there. 
because the new incoming uh, owners of the land, people who bought the land off uh, from Alien soldiers, generally English people, uh, they need a workforce. And the workforce there will be Irish Catholic. So what you get here is you get the germs of what will become a Protestant ascendancy, a situation where uh, all landowners and all people above a certain a certain standard of wealth uh, are, 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 are Protestants. Uh, whereas if you are a hue or a wood and a drawer of water, you will be a Catholic. But you're a Catholic who knows, uh, not only knows your place, but knows how you got into that place. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.